Well, for the first time in the 157 year history of the FDNY, a woman will lead the department. Laura Cavanaugh has a long history of service to the city. She led the FDNY's response to the Ebola outbreak back in 2015, and she has been acting commissioner for the last eight months. Her appointment is a landmark moment for a department that has it had a history of resisting allowing women to be firefighters. Iowa News News reporter Kimberly Richardson is live in NoHo with the story. Kim. Well, Laura Cavanaugh took this defining moment to give a little perspective, saying she was a shy, introverted, only child who bought a one-way ticket from California here to New York City two decades ago, and yes, today made history with her mother by her side. The who's who of female leadership here in the five boroughs, the commissioner declared she is relentlessly enthusiastic about the future of this city. Congratulations, Commissioner Laura Cavanaugh. A powerful moment here in New York City. Laura Cavanaugh sworn in as fire commissioner, becoming the first woman to lead the department, the largest in the country. The people of the FDNY have provided me with an enduring faith in something that I was raised with and I have long known to be true. That where you build a community, you create a force multiplier that does extraordinary things. Kavanaugh is no stranger, having joined the department in 2014. She was second in command under Daniel Nigro, who, when he retired in February of this year, she stepped in as interim commissioner. They realize that she loves the department, she'll do a good job, and they'll have her back. 17,000 employees, of which roughly 141 are female firefighters. Kavanaugh played a key role in diversifying the agency. Whether helping to lead the department's response to the Ebola outbreak in 2015 to COVID, Mayor Adams calls Kavanaugh a born leader. But when I asked the mayor about the 40-year-old being the first woman in the department's 157-year history to step into this role, he acknowledges it's an indictment on what's been happening, something he says he's committed to changing. We were intentional. We said we're going to look for the best, but we're going to open our eyes because the best is among us. The best has just been ignored. Choosing to use her grandmother's Bible during the ceremony, Kavanaugh considers this the honor of a lifetime, a story about making the impossible possible. The FDNY has never met a mission that they could not complete. Let's get to work. And today's ceremony held here at Engine 33, where the first fire commissioner had his office. And finally, Kavanaugh thanking her parents today for, as she put it, giving her the exact right mix of love and toughness.